Welcome to the Wind Up Project. I'm Marla Mogul. I have been collecting wind up toys for over 30 years. I have more than 1,000 toys in my collection, and my mission is to share the fun, the laughter, and the joy that I get from these toys with the rest of the world. If you're looking to have more fun, please subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at farm animals. This collection here, these are these little cuties. These are from a collection from U.S. Toy. And what I've done is I've taken these four cuties and then I'm going to show you some counterparts of theirs that are from different toy companies just so you can see different variations. Okay, let's start with the sheep. Look at that face. It just looks so cute. Sheep are typically kept on a farm as livestock. Now the female sheep is a hue, a ewe, and the male sheep is a ram, and the young sheep is a lamb. And this is, I believe, this is the ewe. Sheep are very important to the economy in Australia, where they have the biggest sheep population and the largest fine wool production. Listen to this one. I think this is hilarious. In New Zealand, the sheep outnumber the humans 5.6 to 1. Now, I think this looks like a little baby lamb. So this one... <laughs> so cute. I'm not sure what toy company that's from. There are no markings on there. This one spins around and bobs his head up and down as it spins. Because it's so cute. All right, next we're going to talk about cattle. Cows are female and bulls are male. This one is from part of that collection from U.S. Toy. The way you can really distinguish these is they have those cute faces and they're just very comical. Okay, so this cute cow is not cooperating today. It feels like the wind-up mechanism is really loose. So if we were handy, we would know how to fix this because you can fix wind-up toys. And if it worked, you would see that it had, its head would wobble back and forth. But this one is awfully cute too. And this one is the same as the little lamb where it's manufactured by the same company because you could tell it's from the same collection. And this one is also gonna spin and its head also goes up and down. Uh-oh. Cows aren't working today. Get him unwound. Oh, he's so cute. Now, cows are commonly raised as livestock for meat and milk and for hides that are used to make leather. Okay, cute little chick. <laughs> this is Harry's favorite wind-up toy, this little chick, because he really likes his face. And he is adorable, he or she, I think it's a she actually. And just walks, head bobbing side to side. Chickens are one of the most common and widespread domestic animals with a total population of 23.7 billion as of 2018. There are more chickens in the world than any other bird. Let's take a look at this chick. A little bit different, still very cute, and this one has little wings that I believe will go up and down when we wind it up. <laughs> Humans keep chickens primarily as a source of food, consuming both their meat and their eggs, and they are also used less commonly as pets. And let's not forget about pigs. Pigs are farmed principally for food and skins. This one, again, from the U.S. Toy Company. Over recent years, pigs have become popular pets. And he does the same thing as the other toys, just walks and his head wobbles. And one of the reasons they make such good pets is that they're hypoallergenic and they've been known to work as therapy dogs and support animals. 
This wind-up toy looks more like just a traditional pig. Let's see him walk. Now this one looks pretty big and plumpy, so this one might be a hog. Interestingly enough, people think that pigs are pigs and they smell, and interestingly enough, they do not smell. They're generally very clean and odorless because they don't sweat. What smells is all the stuff that's clogged up in their snout. Thank you so much for being here today for Animal Week at the Wind Up Project. I hope you enjoyed seeing these farm animals. And if you're looking to have more fun, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I'm putting out new content every day. And remember, keep smiling. Thank you, Jeffrey.